In an endless quest for relevance, Zoe Quinn alleges Andrew Halauka sexually assaulted her. So, did serial liar Zoe Quinn go to the police? Maybe with proof? Nope. She went to Twitter and shrieked to anyone who'd listen, constantly, endlessly. And naturally, people went to harass Alec. Naturally, Alec's future project was cancelled, and naturally, Alec's studio cut ties with him over allegations, nothing proven yet, allegations. So, Alec took his own life. In a message from his sister, Eileen Halauka, she writes, Alec Halauka, my brother and best friend, passed away this morning. Those who know me will know that I believe survivors and I have always done everything I can to support survivors, those suffering from mental illness, and those with chronic illnesses. Alec was a victim of abuse, and he also spent a lifetime battling mood and personality disorders. I will not pretend that he was not also responsible for causing harm, but deep down he was a person who wanted only to offer people care and kindness. It took him a while to figure out how. Over the last few years with therapy and medication, Alec became a new person. The same person he'd always been, but without any of the darkness. He was calm, happy, positive, and loving. Obviously, change is a slow process and it wasn't perfect, but he was working towards rehabilitation and a better life. In the last few days, he was supported by many Manitoba Crisis Services and I want to thank everyone there for their support and I want to thank Adam Saltzman for staying up late, talking with us, and reminding Alec that there was a future. My family has, and always will, be the most important thing to me. Please give us time to heal. We tried our best to support Alec, but in the end, he felt he had lost too much. I currently do not see a place for myself in games or on Twitter. I will not be looking at responses to this post. I appreciate everyone who has reached out to me over the last few days. For anyone who is in a time of darkness, I encourage you to reach out for support. There are always people who will be there for you. For those who may be curious, is this the same Zoe Quinn who slept with countless people in the games industry to get these dudes shilling her garbage on their hack websites? Yes, it's the very same. This Zoe Quinn led hashtag me too to kill a man. And the sick part about it is this is a victory for serial liar Zoe Quinn. This is most likely the exact desired outcome. And she no doubt, in my opinion, which I am entitled as I exercise free speech, considers this a personal achievement. So of course, like a guilty person does, she's deleted her Twitter account and will no doubt re-emerge after a while only to declare that she's been targeted and is the victim through a publication probably run by one of the countless people she's been sleeping with where they'll focus exclusively on the worst comments that she's received because none of the other civil comments exist. Like ooblets. <laughs> but you know what? she'll get to live. Because in my opinion, which I am entitled as I exercise my free speech, no one exists as sick as serial liar Zoe Quinn. No one will stand equal to oppose and squawk and bend over to coerce people into harassing her the way that she did with Alec Halauka. And good, she doesn't deserve the attention. To people like her, there's no separation from fame and infamy. And this crime will go unpunished. I want to make it clear that I am in no way condoning you going and trying to contact Zoe Quinn in any way. She's not worth it. She's worse than a Kardashian. She just needs to fall out of our minds. But what we need to do in the future is make damn sure that we don't judge based on a bunch of people jumping up and going, you know what I think, you know what I heard. The sickness of the matter is you don't have to wander too far to come across these turds in human suits. And I'm not sure what's dumber, what's sadder, 
that somebody is jumping the gun and you know coming to a conclusion without any evidence sometimes it's not even a an educated guess a hypothesis when you have zero to prove your theory but is it sadder that they're this stupid that they're demonstrating a capacity for ignorance on this scale or is it sadder that they got an audience that's willing to go oh yeah yuck i believe that bruh you know i can literally be a bystander on YouTube and get struck because something that I'm saying isn't okay but uh, but some of these people without evidence can justify zombie tear unconscious thought in the direction of madness and uh, that's fine they got the platform to do it but I tell you what her guilty ass took that Twitter account down faster than you can say I'm the victim and you know when she popped back up it's just gonna be a bucket of do you know the death threats that I received it's not okay it's not okay I'm a victim it's not okay what about me what about me